Hey, welcome to Fiber Lakes Garage, the home of random projects. We have lists, we have Jeeps, we have trucks, we have food. You name it, we got it. So help out the channel by just hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you really like the video, like it and then tell a friend. But stay tuned, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna let you go because I got stuff to do. just that easy today on five lakes garage we hit the trails we try to fix them up try to keep people from uh, destroying them and then we take our Jeeps and Land Cruisers out for a trail ride now it's my turn I gotta wait for Eric to come down so we can grab the camera and I'm gonna take the CJ up maybe I haven't really taken one up this uh, gnarly before I know it doesn't look like that on the video but it's pretty gnarly I almost fell twice but granted, I was looking at the camera and not where I was going. Should be fine. Let's go. Might take a minute. Pumpkin's not going to clear that rock. Or go hard left. One more passenger. Right there. Okay, granted, that hill was not that spectacular. It wasn't even that gnarly, but from what I'm really used to, it was actually pretty good. Uh, we tried to do some other ones, but we will be able to see a little bit of that a little bit later. But first, we gotta go fix the trails. So take a peek at some pics and all of some video of us fixing those trails. Shut up and sit down.
right, the work day is over. Sorry, I didn't get a lot of that footage because, hey, we're trying to work, trying to get everything done. And if I'm sitting there videoing, we're not getting any work done. So special thanks to Ranger Terry, all the other Rangers over there at the URA National Forest, uh, Mr. Eric, Mr. Jason, Mr. Carl, everybody that was involved. Fantastic job. We really appreciate it. And also thank you to all the clubs that actually come out and help every month. You got CNC 4x4. Old North State Cruisers, just tons of groups that come out there and help. We appreciate you. Keep those trails open. So now let's go take advantage of those trails and get our butts out there. Let's go. trail day is over we are dirty we are tired it's time to go hit those dirt roads and get all dusty again and get on over to the outpost so we can load up and get out of there hopefully you enjoyed everything that's on here check us out next time
Oh man, we are almost home from our trip. Uh, just a quick day trip to Uari. Awesome day, did some uh, good work with some guardrails up. Uh, but yeah, towing with the Tacoma, I picked up about 11 miles to the gallon according to the dashboard. And that's towing the trailer with the CJ5 on the back of it. I did have some problems on the way there. I kind of got a little sketchy, kept swaying a little bit. I did not have enough tongue weight. I thought I had enough. I, you know, ripped up on it and it, it was some weight in there. But with all the wind hitting the windshield, it kept pulling it back, which started um, lessening my uh, my uh, tongue weight. So now, you know, on the way back, I pushed it forward a couple inches. It wasn't that much. Tied it down, and now no swaying. It did great all the way back. Uh, I kind of wish I had a deeper first gear or maybe power down below because uh, I kept having to slip the clutch pretty good in order to actually get rolling, especially on hills. A little, a little nervous on a couple of them. But all in all, it was actually a really great trip. We, don't, we went on some uh, a lot harder trails than I'm used to. I noticed that I need to I need, I need to get better at actually driving uh, on the trails. Uh, actually seeing the rocks before I even get to them, it's kind of like riding a bike, you know, you're going fast. You never look at the rock you're getting ready to hit. You gotta look at the rock that you're getting ready to come up to. So, um, but got up everything. As of right now, I don't think anything's broken. Uh, I do have a power steering leak. Uh, definitely look into that. I don't like leaky fluid, especially out on the trail. Um, but yeah, other than that, it worked great. It worked out great. Having the twin sticks worked out awesome as well. Um, just because I can uh, put it, I put it in four low. I put it in low range, but two wheel drive. And uh, I was able to get through most of the trails like that. Um, when Once we get to the, you know, the actual rocks. And of course, obviously I put it in four wheel drive. Uh, deflated the tires around 20 psi. I could probably go a little bit lower than that next time Just to help with the ride. Holy crap. That thing was just killing my kidneys but But yeah, but back to the Tacoma uh, Towing nothing towing the Jeep which is behind me uh, all the way home uh, Lower first gear They I pretty much rode in fourth gear on the highway didn't get above third gear on the back roads just because the power band on this thing is like 3,000 and above so I needed to stay in there or else I was losing ground just the way it is but yeah uh, do you like the Dodge Dodge is um, well it was built for towing and hauling and whatever I mean it's a diesel I got better fuel mileage with the Dodge but um, the Dodge doesn't have nav system or air conditioning or any of that stuff <laughs> so anyway check out all the other videos I think we're doing an okay job we got plenty of them out there and see which one you like and if you have any comments by all means put some comments in there let me know all right you guys have fun I gotta unload and I gotta put some water on that thing because it was dusty out there ridiculously dusty anyway take it easy have fun light off